this is right in the club. Shh. Today we're talking about blow-off valves. What is a blow-off valve? Can I put a blow-off valve on my car? And what does a blow-off valve do? These are some very common questions about blow-off valves. First and foremost, if you don't know what a blow-off valve is, I'm sure you've heard one at some point or another. I'm sure there's been somebody in a car that's passed you at some point, or uh, that's been standing out next to you, and you hear a nice little <laughs> To me, it's a great sound. I love the sound. These, uh, these are only available for turbocharged cars, and I'll explain to you why. Okay, so if you have a car that's not turbo, and you want it to make that little noise, that's all you want, uh, I don't know what to tell you, it's, you know, get a little air compressor and just like, uh, to, to a release valve, I guess, but that's not the point. The reason why turbo cars have blow-off valves is not to sound cool, even though it does sound very cool. It's not to sound cool. The reason why turbo cars have blow-off valves is to relieve the excess pressure of the uh, of the turbo when your throttle plate closes. So what I mean by that, you're accelerating, you got your, uh, turn this little gas pedal here, you're accelerating, foot's down to the floor, foot's down to the floor, so your turbo's, you know, making, you know, however many PSI of, of boost pressure in your, in your uh, pipes there, in your intake pipes and in your manifold. And you let off the throttle, and uh, so it goes, the throttle plate closes, okay? Or like this, depending on your throttle plate closes. So all the pressure that's on, you know, the uh, manifold side, it, it goes back into the engine. All the pressure on this side can go two different places. And the way it's supposed to go is out through the blow-off valve. So it makes that shh noise goes out, it's relieving all that pressure, because otherwise, if we didn't have the blow-off valve, or if our blow-off valve was faulty, or not big enough to handle the uh, pressure that we're putting on it, it would go back out through the turbo, forcing the turbo to spin backwards, and uh, pretty much ruining your turbocharger. I mean, it's going to damage it, it's not, you know, if you get a little bit of, uh, of compressor surge, is what it's called, it's not terrible, but it is not a good thing to happen. It will damage your turbocharger, and eventually you uh, will no longer have a turbocharger. Or you'll just have a really, really broken one. It's all twisted and spun and wiggly and shit. So, blow valves are very important. Now, how they work is, they sit somewhere on the pressure side of your intake piping. And, uh, basically, there's a little vacuum line that goes to, uh, that goes to the, the intake manifold, and when uh, when that plate closes, the intake manifold goes from pressurized to vacuum, and that you know sends the vacuum to the top of your uh, blow-off valve and opens it up, and it goes and lets all that pressure out. Now there's two different ways it can let the pressure out. It can recirculate that back into the intake uh, before the turbocharger, and some people even will say that this helps uh, keep the turbocharger spooled. Which, I, I suppose it could, you know, you're pushing air in, but it's really, you know, um, it's not anything that's going to be majorly significant. And then another way is just to let it just go out into the atmosphere. It's, it's out in the open and, you know, no big deal. Which, um, there is no dyno evidence one way or the other to prove or disprove that one or the other makes more power. Um... So pretty much it's just however you want the setup to be. Now, if you want it to make extra noise, I suppose venting it to atmosphere may help, but, uh, you know, it's not going to be any different than if you're just putting hard piping in and, you know, recirculating it. You can, you'll still hear it. You'll still make a loud noise. Okay. But like I said, that's really not um, what blow-off valves are intended to do. It's not intended just to make a noise. It's really intended um, to relieve that extra pressure. Now, the reason why you want to get a good blow-off valve it's not so you can get the coolest noise or whatever out of it, but it's so a it can hold the pressure, the boost pressure that's you know being being retained inside uh, your intake piping. Your intake piping is going to be pressurized by your turbocharger, and uh, you want it to make sure that that's not going to leak out of the blowout valve. The blowout valve is intended to vent air out, and if it's letting air out prematurely um, when it's not supposed to. Um, you're going to lose power, and losing power is not a good, that's no good, you can't, 
Yeah, don't lose power. Power is good. Don't don't lose power. So, and then another thing too is um, how how wide the blow off valve opens. I know um, that some blow off valves, you know, they have a really big opening, and um, you know they're intended for extreme, you know, boost cars. And on a small on a car that's running a uh, smaller psi of boost, what you're going to end up seeing is is when that opens. The car is going to try and stall out or stutter because there's just an open path in your exhaust or in, not in your exhaust in your intake after the uh, after the uh, the mass airflow sensor. Now, I mean, if you do have a map sensor, you know you're not gonna it's not gonna give you that kind of a problem if you're running solely off of the map sensor and not a mass airflow sensor. You can you know have it as big as possible, but you know you want to make sure that it only allows out the amount of boost that it needs to to stop the turbocharger from you know running backwards because if you can retain you know the, the have the blow valve drop you from 15 psi to 4 psi you know you can actually start it's going to be a less lag on your turbocharger you can start from 4 psi as opposed to vacuum or you know at 0 psi so your turbocharger has less that it needs to actually push and spool up making your car actually faster so there is some advantages to having a good blow-off valve. Um, but like I said, keep in mind when, when looking into blow-off valves or purchasing blow-off valves, um, don't buy the cheapest one. It is an important part. And um, don't buy one just basically because you like the way it sounds or the way it looks under your hood. Um, most blow-off valves look pretty decent. Some of them you can't even see depending on where they are mounted inside the car. So really... What you want to make sure is that it's going to be able to handle your boost and uh, that it's not going to vent too much air. I mean, that's those are your main, main concerns. You want to make sure it's going to be a quality construction part. It's not going to leak all over the place. And, uh, you know, something that's going to be reliable because, I mean, that's a, a big part of your, your whole turbo system. And if there's any leaks in that, you're going to be losing horsepower. So definitely... Um, if you're upgrading yours, um, you know, make sure you get one that's quality, and make sure also that you you uh, do a boost leak test on any turbo car. Make sure that your uh, your intake piping, your your intercooler, your blow off valve, everything that nothing in there is, you know, your intake manifold is not gonna leak any pressure out because if you lose pressure, you lose power, and that's no fun. That's just no fun. So, uh, what do you guys think about blow-off valves? You like them? You hate them? You like the noise? You never understood what they were before? Um, if you have a turbo car, let me know what your favorite blow-off valve is. My personal favorite is the SARD R2-D2 blow-off valve, because I'm a geek and I like Star Wars-related stuff. <laughs> no, but really, because it, it, it looks really, really awesome, makes a great noise, and, and SARD is a, is a pretty solid construction company. They, they make stuff that works very well. I've never heard anybody having any issues with them. Um, I know a lot of people out there are partial to the super sequential. Uh, I'm not partial to it, but uh, that's just me. So let me know what's, uh, what's your favorite blow-off valve if you have a turbo car, and uh, if you don't have a turbo car, if you were to have one, what blow-off valve would you get? Let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, hit like and subscribe because I'm Rob, and you know, I like it when people are riding with me. It's, it's fun. So, uh, as always, guys, enjoy the drive.